All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to teach you about impermanent loss. Really easy to do. All right, so first, we're going to start with just um, the first solution. So say you're wanting to deposit Ethereum. So we'll say ETH. ETH is worth $100, okay? So now you have the other token, which is your um, the other side of the liquidity, which is DAI. DAI tries to say $1, but you and I both know it pretty much doesn't. <laughs> but it, it tries to stay at $1. It's usually like $1, $0.01, cent, $0.99. Cent. Anyways, so our pool is 200 bucks. So that means we deposit one ETH, one hundred die because one eth is 100 bucks and one die is obviously one dollar so we have 100 die one eth now here's where impermanent loss comes in which is bancor which is what bancor is looking to solve i also did a video on it you guys will see it in the description below so eth now is worth 200 dollars huh okay so what does that do here Okay, so now in the pool, there's only 0.5 ETH. Hmm, okay. Now, DAI obviously stays a dollar. So we still have $100 worth of DAI, which is 100 DAI. Hmm, so we have $100 of ETH, 100 DAI, $100, total of 200 still because we're just providing liquidity, but we only have 0.5 ETH. We deposited one ETH, 100 die. Hmm. So now here's where's, where the problem comes in. I want to take profits on ETH because, wow, it's 200 bucks. I bought it for 100. I'm going to double my money. Okay, time to withdraw. Wait. I can only withdraw half an ETH. That's weird. Okay. I can only d withdraw half an ETH because you provided liquidity of $100 worth. And a hundred dollars worth of dye. So that's where the problem of impermanent loss comes in. So you have one hundred dye still because it stayed the same, but now you have a half an ETH. Hmm. Now you lost some money on it. But you got to look on the reverse side. So the reverse side is ETH goes up to or goes down to fifty bucks, and you want to withdraw your ETH. Now, instead of that one ETH, now you have two ETH. So it, it depends. So if you guys are looking to longer project, do not put um, or provide liquidity onto a protocol if you're looking to quickly make profits after it's go so when you longer project, that mainly says or mainly is saying the pro or the project's gonna go up in value. If you short a project, this means you're saying it's going down. So if you guys think a project's going up, you can provide liquidity and uh, take the interest rate for providing liquidity to it. But you got to factor that in is you're thinking ETH is going to go up. Now it goes to 200 bucks. Your initial deposit of that $100 value of that one ETH now becomes half an ETH. Because remember, we're trying to stay the value of $100. It's like a balance. So you have a scale. You have one side. That says 100 bucks. The other side says 100 bucks. If ETH goes up, that scale is going to tip over here because if it goes up to 200 bucks, you have one ETH in there that makes the value 200. So, what it does to balance it is it make it 0.5. Now, Bancor, I'll show you in the video. Bancor Network solves this instead because you use the Bancor network token, which is BNT. And BNT pairs with any other token. So we'll say X, Y, Z. So instead of ETH going to Chainlink or Chainlink going to BNB, it's BNT to whatever the other token is. And that solves the problem because every time X, Y, Z goes up or goes down, the rates fluctuate. So if X, Y, Z Ethereum goes up, Bancor network interest rate to level it off. So basically, if you're holding in there, you'd make the interest difference. So you'd, you'd make out on it. And if it went down, it'll go. So if this goes down and you're initially getting 20%, now it's 10%. And then people, less people deposit, more people deposit over here because this interest rate goes up. 
And so then when more people deposit over here, this interest rate goes down and then this interest rate goes back up. So it's a uh, revolving tier. So if that solved, or I hope that helped, um, that was basically impermanent loss in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't like it, dislike. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.